Hi everyone, and welcome to Drag. So Drag is an all-in-one workspace for Gmail. We've built it to stop teams from having to swap between different tools in order to run their business, particularly if they're email-focused teams. So Drag can be used for lots of different reasons. Everything from sales inquiries, through to marketing management, through to running a help desk, project management, support, the list goes on and on. And what I'm going to do today is a really quick demo and I'll use the help desk as an example to explain how and where you may be able to use Drag within your organization. So what you're seeing here in front of you is a real-time help desk and it sits inside Gmail. And this help desk has been set up so that all emails sent to support at will come into this board in real time and your entire team can help organize, respond to them, and close off tickets as quick as possible. It's really easy to set up these boards. First thing we're going to do is click here on the plus sign right next to drag boards. This first pop-up that shows is giving us examples of workflows that we can create within drag. We can choose any type of workflow to get started. On my next step, this is where I'm going to invite my team members to collaborate on my board. In this case, we're going to choose a shared inbox. Because we have an actual inbox with a login and password, which we will integrate with Drag, making so that any email sent to that email address is going to automatically populate in this board. We can see here that this board that we're going to as an example is shared with six to seven users of our team. All of these team members can see the emails that are coming in and therefore manage the entire help desk of your business inside of Gmail. A really useful point also is that this collaboration works across the main. So what do we mean by that? You may have consultants or contractors that aren't under the same domain as you, but they can still share these boards as long as they're a Gmail or G Suite user. So now going into a card, we can click into any one of these cards and you can see it's a real time email and it's really similar to traditional email. So here, for example, we can say that Frank sent a message to support at DragApp and Jasmine, who is part of this board, has replied to Frank. This whole thread is visible across all of the team members that are part of this board. That means that anybody from your team can jump in and reply to Frank in case Jasmine isn't available. Besides the email thread inside of these drag cards, we also have multiple features that is going to help the team with their collaboration and efficiency within these boards. For example, starting over here on my right hand side, I have the ability to mention one of my colleagues and have them report to this specific email card as quickly as possible. So for example, I could mention Jasmine over here and say, hey, can you please help? Jasmine will then get a drag notification in her own inbox, which she will be able to click and be redirected to this specific email card. Regarding the email, the features that we have available is either to reply as the individual user or you can always choose to reply as the general support at or any other user that grants permission. Inside of the compose box, we also have a couple more features which will help with the team's collaboration. For example, I'm able to track an email to understand if the receiver has opened the email, how many times and when was the last time. Beside that, I have also the ability to create shared email templates. Here, I can create my email templates and email sequences and share them across my whole entire team. That way, when they click here on the three dots, they can choose the template they desire. Above my email, I also have these tabs here. The first tab being the email, which everybody is seeing. The second is the tasks. Here, I'm able to concentrate all of my workflow in one card. For example, here I know I have to set up a new meeting, call my manager, and I can tick off these tasks as I go. In my notes section, I'm able to leave important information from a certain meeting or just any information related to the specific client. Here in the activity tab, anybody can see what each user has done and when have they done that activity. This gives transparency and accountability within the workflow. Above here, we have all of our Gmail features available inside of these drag cards. And here forward, we have the rest of the drag features. For example, I'm able to color code my cards. If we take a look here at my board, we can see that multiple cards have different colors right beside them. This allows me to color code according to an urgency, 
or to a certain project, any which way makes more sense for our team. Next to that, I can also assign an email to myself or to other users if I desire. This allows me to click here on my assign to me and view all of the cards across all of the boards that I am part of that are assigned to me. Also, right next to the name of the board that I was in, on this dropdown, I'm able to quickly filter out my board to all of the emails in that specific board that are assigned. That way I can see how many cards I have in each step and be more efficient. Back in the card, I also have the ability to add due dates and if I desire, I can also add it to my Google Calendar. That way, I will receive a reminder that I have a next step with that client. Right beside that, we have the drag tags which are available in drag boards. That helped me to understand what each email is about without having to open it up each and every time. And also to go over here to my filter board and quickly filter out my board by a specific tag. The same applies for assignments and color coding. Back inside the card, I can also send this specific email card to another workflow. Let's say I'm done with this assignment in my help desk. So now I will send it to marketing or to sales CRM. Beside that, I also can copy the permalink of this card to send it quickly through chat or through email to one of my colleagues for them to also see the card. Back in my board, we can also see that we have a couple of cards that are merged together. This makes sense because multiple times we have the same user sending new emails to the same workflow. If that's the case, we can merge two cards or more together. In order to do so, I'm going to choose my card, press shift, wait for the message that merging cards function is enabled, and just hover above the email that I would like to merge together. That way we can see that we have three merged cards that are either related to the same project or to the same client. That's all for today. This was a general overview. We hope you enjoy.